training are intended to bring the pigeons to use their power of orientation and to prepare them to cross the distances to which they will be subjected, while supporting the muscular fatigue that is required of them. These exercises differ according to the age of the pigeons and the steps in view. They are necessary for all beings of nature who have to provide some work. No one could, overnight, produce a maximum of work without first having exercised it gradually. Are race horses for example put on the track, overnight? To be classified as winners, shouldn't they be prepared and have followed a daily training session? All the pigeons to take part in the competitions, including the youngsters of the year, will therefore carry out an exercise which will serve as their training and will be repeated twice a day, morning and evening as much as possible at the same time and before each meal. The beginning of these flocks must be done carefully and for the young of the year, they can coincide with the regrowth of the fifth flight feather. First a few minutes increasing as the pigeons themselves tell you that they understand what you want and that their body adapts to this gymnastics because you must not force and allow gradually strengthen the muscles. It's up to the fancier to see what there is to do. But in general, we can go there more easily, we think, as we will explain to you in this video and which can start with the duration of flight that your pigeons will make without effort. On the first morning, we send the peloton out in volleys for about half an hour. If they pretend to land on the roof, they are chased away, because they have to fly the 30 minutes without stopping. A very simple way to achieve a good result, while preparing quick comebacks, is to fly the flag, but you need a series of different colors, which you can find in old rags, in order to never have the same one twice in a row, because habit is second nature and your favorites would quickly land and even perch on the flag. The entrance to the loft must of course be closed for the duration of the exercise and from the first day, as soon as they have flown for half an hour, you remove the flag by whistling or making the usual signal before the meal blow bell or other special noise of which the whistle in the amateurs module is the most used. The first outing had to be done in the morning, around 8.30 am, so as to make the re-entry around 9 am, the time fixed for the daily distribution and which in our opinion is the one at which the pigeons most often return from the competitions. It will become a matter of habit, your pigeons will never be hungry before 9 am. In the afternoon, at 4.30 pm, to return around 5 pm, you repeat the same exercise in the same way. That's it for the first day. The next day, second day of training. You proceed in the same way morning and evening, but increasing the flight time by 5 to 10 minutes depending on the dispositions of your pigeons, because, we repeat, you must never rush. Two days later, third day of training, same repetition morning and evening but always increasing the duration of the flight by 5 to 10 minutes. We will thus gradually arrive at an hour of flight which must be maintained but not exceeded, throughout the duration of the competitions, whether the weather is nice or it is cold, that is to say in all weathers and wind. Exceptionally on days of heavy snow, fog or even a thunderstorm, you should avoid throwing your pigeons into the storm. We sometimes encounter difficulties to fly properly for an hour at the beginning. There are subjects which, instead of leaving in groups, detach themselves to go and land on a neighboring roof, where the others risk joining them. This is why, as soon as you notice the thing, wave your flag, or throw small balls of clay if the first means is not enough to bring this deserter back into the band and keep an eye out to prevent any further misdeeds. After a few days, with a little personal initiative, all the difficulties that could arise depending on the situation at the loft, will be overcome and your pigeons, cared for according to our method, will leave in a mad band, to group together and stay until strikes the hour of food, flag removed and free entry. Pigeons in training must be well fed and kept in shape as much as possible so that they can withstand the fatigue of this beneficial exercise for strengthening muscles, destroying fat and invigorating tissues by dilating the air bags. If your sailboats are not in good condition, you will only arrive at disappointments. On the other hand, if they are in working order, you will have only joy and pleasure. When the time has come to start training and the weather permits, the first stage is about 20 kilometers away. We often let go one by one, with half a minute intervals at least. We do not do this to make them fly in isolation but to be able to examine them at our convenience. In the next step, 
we release them in groups of six. We wait for them to be out of sight, to proceed with the next release. Old birds and yearlings are trained three times, at 20 kilometers, 50 kilometers and 80 kilometers. They are practically never hired in groups. After three, sometimes four stages of training old and yearlings participate directly in a first competition, the widowers are never trained again during the season. They fly every day at home, at the flag for half an hour to an hour. That's more than enough. On the other hand, we regularly carry competition hens with the youngsters. At home they only train in the evening and it is very difficult to keep them in the air, even when waving the flag. It is important to good training and repeated training for the youngsters. You have to guide them step by step. At the first stage, from 3 to 4 kilometers, also release them one by one, because this allows you to judge their physical condition. At the next stages, at 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers, 15 kilometers and 25 kilometers, release them in baskets of 6. At the next stage of 50 kilometers, they all start together or in two groups at quarter hour intervals. If they do not fit well at the start, you have to repeat the 50 kilometers stage two or three times until they fit more or less together. Sometimes they have to be extended to 70 or 80 kilometers, but that is not essential. As soon as they get back well in group at 50 kilometers, they are ready for a first contest on 100 kilometers. We have to tell you that only the youngsters from the first two rounds of early breeding benefit from such careful preparation. We make a lot less case for summer youngsters. These go to a contest of 100 after three training stages at most. Before we conclude, a little advice. If you prefer speed pigeons to strengthen yourself, you are forced to select harder than anyone else. You will without hesitation eliminate pigeons that would be given a chance by fanciers with too much space. The little champions are forced to select without mercy. The average quality of your loft will be higher than those with lots of space and keeping lots of pigeons. Finally, to be able to play well with pigeons, you have to train them seriously and not believe those who claim that to succeed, you have to rely on luck above all. Quality is one of the essential requirements, but it is not enough for young birds. They must be trained, motivated, conditioned to have the confidence that breeds assurance to the point that they leave quickly, that they do not hesitate to leave the mass and that they return as quickly as possible. Music